So, Yellowstone. Everybody's seen it, we expect. Buffalo and geysers and magnificent elk and bears and things like that. And they're all here and there. I enjoyed them all, but I want to show more than just that. So, here's my video of Yellowstone. I came in the east side through the Sylvan Pass, which is between the two cinder cones here, and then camped on the south side of the lake, basically at uh, Bridge Bay Campground. From there, I went on a scenic cruise the next day of the lake and had these amazing vistas, which I'm showing some of here, and saw this cool old wreck of a steamboat uh, on the island here. The majesty of Yellowstone. Clear water going all the way across and into those mountains. But of course Yellowstone is all about the super volcano of which we were cruising on the most active part of the super uh, caldera, which is the lake, <laughs> under which lies a lake of magma. And next I went to West Thumb to the geysers there, which is where the most recent volcanic activity happened in Yellowstone and has, I think, the prettier geysers, not just the big spectacular ones that are swarmed with visitors. Here's something I've never seen before, the fumaroles under the water. It's incredibly awesome. It's a little mini volcano in the water. This is a cool little... I think it's about ready to make tea. <laughs> It's amazing the landscape that a slumbering volcano makes. The range of lush to desert dry from the heat underneath and the sulfur emissions coming out of the ground. Just amazing. This King Geyser. Take too much video here because I don't want it messing up my lens. Yeah, right. So this is Abyss Pool, and it's actually the deepest geyser here in the West Thumb area. I guess it's like 53 feet deep. Interestingly, this pool and the last pool both erupted in uh, 1987 and 91. Sent water like 100 feet into the air and stuff. And changed their colors from pretty dark to clear, although this one's still kind of dark. Because it's so deep. But the last one had that clear blue to it. The King Geyser. And it had been black until it heated up again in 91. A lot more than just geysers here. Beautiful country. Just love the geysers in the mountains. Have you seen any activity in this one? It's 
Sometimes it's more impressive just seeing the steam coming out of the earth than the big pools and stuff. So here I'm back in camp and there's a group of miscreant juvenile onpon elk who are wandering through campsites seeing if they can find more than just grass to chew on. They're well known by the uh, campground keepers who try and keep them from doing too much harm. I think the dog that was in the campsite next to me did more to keep the elk away from my campsite than did the keepers in their golf cart. However, it was fun watching them wander through and you can see that I'm using the Pentax K3 Mark III camera for these shots and the quality of the video is just really nice compared to the uh, QS1, the small camera that I normally use for most of the YouTube stuff. Right there, moving through my campsite is a little yearling or two yearling. I'm going to move this way. That way you can go the other way if you want. All right. There you go, Umpa. Umpa Shinka. Wow, the Tonka. Oops, would help if I pointed at it. He's right up to the dang table. Looking to see if there's something that maybe I left. I think I'm going to close up my truck. They didn't find anything to snack on in my campsite, so now they're heading off. But one of them nosed over the table pretty good. And he's looking at that tent and wondering. <laughs> And there comes the little sister. And our dinner guests are leaving. Going to find another photo op. And you can see what kind of weather is coming in. It's gonna be rainy. Can use it but hopefully by the time I'm ready to hit the road out the rain will be pretty well gone I just saw lightning and the roads won't be too bad of course before leaving I had to get video of Buffalo poop. Looks like a burger, but it's made to burn, not eat. And it's great fertilizer. And then it's time to go. With the geysers and the volcano behind. It's easy to get caught up in the geysers and the buffalo and the elk. But I think part of the beauty of Yosemite is the volcanic flows and the trees that have come up and make everything pretty. And the spaces between cars and trucks. It's just amazingly pretty. This is Fire Canyon. It's an amazing solid lava flow cut through by the 
Yellowstone River on the west side. And just lots of other amazing pretty stuff too. So this is Firehole Plaza. It's between two different aged flows of lava. It's amazing. And that pretty well wraps up Yellowstone. It was both amazing in terms of the animals and the geysers, but even more so in the peaceful beauty of what develops from chaos and volcanoes. It's definitely some place that everybody should go at least once in this country, in my opinion. Now, on to the sawtooths.